Let's get right back to our breaking news, and that is the weather and the rainfall this morning. This is a look at some of the flooding caused by Tropical Storm Hillary in Palm Springs, California. This is in a desert, folks. So, Jim, what is the latest on our stormy weather in Idaho this morning? We saw Brenda with those raindrops. The rain really coming down there in Caldwell. Yeah, we're not getting the bulk of the stormy energy like they did in Southern California when the tropical storm actually moved through, but we're getting all the moisture and rainfall left over from it heading right up into eastern Oregon and western Idaho. So a lot of rain this morning, moderate to heavy rain in many areas. When the kids go out to catch the bus, make sure they're prepared for wet weather this morning. It will stay showery throughout the day, letting up a little bit later on this afternoon. Afternoon, but intermittent showers and possible thunderstorms and turning windy later on today. Mid to upper 60s this morning and into the low 80s later on this afternoon when they head home from school. Right now here you see the mid to upper 60s in the valley areas, 50s in the mountains and the dew points are right up there within a couple of degrees of the air temperature. Very high dew points for us, uh, even in this time of year when we normally see some monsoon activity and uh, looks like it's going to continue to keep things very moist. The bulk of the energy now moving up into eastern Oregon, as you say, the bulk of the moisture, the main low pressure center, what's left of the remnants of Hurricane Hillary now drifting northward through Nevada, but the heaviest rain is in eastern Oregon now moving up along the interstate from Ontario up to La Grande and Baker City is seeing some heavy rainfall. Also moderate to very heavy rain right along the Idaho Oregon border lifting northward just to the west of Nyssa and uh, Adrian and up into the Vale and Ontario areas. Also a little band of moderate rain now lifting back up northward into southern Ada County northward into Boise and Meridian. So we'll see these intermittent heavy to moderate rain showers throughout the morning. Flood watches in effect throughout the entire region. Flash flood in a good possibility with the one to two inches of rain coming down in some of these areas. We've already had up to an inch of rain east of Boise over into the central mountain areas in the last 24 hours or so. Wind advisories and warnings also near the Nevada border up into the Magic and Treasure Valleys for gusty winds of 30 to 50 miles per hour later on this afternoon. So right now we're focusing the heavy rainfall in eastern Oregon and along the Idaho Nevada border lifting northward into the west central mountains as well up toward Cascade and McCall. We've got some moderate rain at times right now. Boise seeing a return of some light showers currently heavier out into the western part of the valley and some scattered showers even possible in the Magic Valley on up into the central mountains as well. As this continues to lift northward and dissipate throughout the day and into the evening, bulk of the moisture will head out of our region, but there's enough left over tomorrow with a low pressure trough coming through to trigger some moderate to heavy thunder showers tomorrow afternoon, including the Treasure Valley and eastward toward the Magic Valley and uh, then gradually drying out even more as we head through the end of the week. Mountain areas will be seeing scattered showers, especially today and tomorrow, moderate to heavy rainfall in some spots. Temperatures in the upper 60s, flash flooding possible. And for us here in the Treasure Valley, look for temperatures in the low 80s. Chance of thunderstorms into tomorrow as well, and then drier through the middle of the week. All right, Jim, thank you. Appreciate you keeping an eye on that. 643 Eagle Fire and Idaho Fishing Game saved a baby osprey. This heartwarming story coming up in your morning brew. But before we go to break, another reminder that Ada County Highway District offering a couple of reminders as this wet weather continues to roll in. They're asking you to drive very carefully. We got wet roads out there and some puddling or even pooling, so leave plenty of space between you and the cars in front of you. Also, make sure your windshield wipers, your headlights, that they're working properly as you get out there in this rain, and do your best to keep those storm drains clear in your neighborhoods if you happen to notice one. If you do see flooding or down trees, contact non-emergency dispatch as soon as you can. More Wake Up Idaho right after this.